Welcome. In today's video, I will guide you step by step on how you can upgrade your Helium Miner antenna with a purpose to increase your range and HNT rewards. I'll leave all the part details in the description below. When setting up my Bobcat Miner, I initially struggled to gain rewards, mainly because the antenna signal was not reaching out far enough to connect to other miners. So I decided to upgrade the setup and by doing so, I increased my rewards by almost 5 times more HNT. It can be very confusing to identify the different type of port connectors required to upgrade your setup. Here is a diagram of all the parts required. In a few simple steps, I'll explain how they all fit together. Step 1. Understand your miner. First of all, understand what connections are required to link up to your miner. The Bobcat miner has an RP-SMA female port, so it requires an RP-SMA male cable to feed into the back of the unit. Step 2. What cable do you require? There are different types of antenna cables. If you purchase a lower quality cable, a lot of power can be lost which could affect the signal output from your antenna. The most recommended cable to use is an LMR400. The length you would require is dependent on your setup. Here is a quick breakdown of DBI loss for different lengths of LMR400 cables. As you can see, the longer the cable, the more power is lost. These are approximate figures. For a more technical analysis, I have provided a link in the description below. The LMR400 cable connector that feeds into the Bobcat Miner is an RP-SMA male and the other side of the cable is an N-type male that feeds into a lightning arrestor. Which brings me on to step 3. What is a lightning arrestor? The purpose of a lightning arrestor is to safeguard your home from catching fire in case lightning strikes your antenna. You will need a lightning arrestor with N-female to N-female connectors. So the N-type male end of a LMR400 cable would feed into the N-female connector. The other side of the lightning arrestor then feeds into the bottom of your antenna. Which brings me on to step 4. What type of antenna do you require? You can use any DBI antenna for your particular setup depending on your surroundings. Here are some rough use case scenarios in different environments. City setup, 3 or 4 DBI, which provides a signal that connects to more miners nearby. Suburb setup, 5.8 or 8 dBi antenna, which shoots out a more concentrated signal with the purpose to connect to more miners further out. Mountainous setup, 12 to 13 dBi, which shoots out a stronger signal in a concentrated direction. What you do need to ensure is that you are purchasing an outdoor omnidirectional antenna. And finally, the extras. Grounding wire. If lightning were to ever hit the antenna, there would be a huge buildup of current. Instead of it flowing to the antenna cable, the purpose of grounding wire is to absorb the electrical current and basically flush it away. One side of the grounding wire connects into the lightning arrestor and the other side connects to a copper grounding rod or anything that will ground the current. The base. I purchased the base with a 2 inch diameter mast and laid 8 15 kg concrete blocks to support it. My Bobcat is connected to Wi-Fi and I've placed it within one of the concrete blocks. The orange wire is an extension running to a power socket. The pole. From my local hardware store, I purchased a 25 foot hollow chrome alloy pole with a diameter of 1.75 inches. This is how I determine the length of my cable. If you do not require the base, a cost effective solution could be to purchase a flag pole. Tow ropes. The tow ropes were used either side of the pole to act as support beams to extra strengthen the pole's placement. So overall, this is how the setup looks like. If you do have any further questions, please do leave them in the comments below. And if you found this video useful, kindly do give it a thumbs up, do subscribe and keep those notification bells on. Thank you all for watching. Peace.